y'all sit here and tell me this is not a sewing like y'all look at that bam flat what <laughs> hey you guys it's me morgan and welcome back to my channel make sure you hit that subscribe button and also click on that bell so you will be notified every time i post a video all right so today we have a hair review and this hair review is on a v part wig and this is my first body wave v part wig and y'all i'm super excited to try this because y'all know i really don't wear straight hair like that or wavy hair i'm more like a curly hair person but today i want to try this v part wig because it looks super cute and it's really really easy to put on and to wear and you get that natural like to me it gives you like a sewing type look okay so this wig is going to be from kalaii kalaii hair kalaii i had to go on google and type it in to see how it's pronounced but i believe it's kalaii so kalaii hair i have never used their hair before so i'm super excited to try it out so we're gonna get into it all right, you guys, so this is her right here. This is my 24 inch V part wig and body wave. And y'all, it looks so beautiful. I do not want her to fall off this mannequin, but it is a long, a long, long, long. So, um, at the top, as you can see, it's shaped as a V. And I love that because you can make this V however wide or you know close you want it depending on how much hair you want to leave out now v part wigs i think were made to give you the illusion that you don't have to have any hair left out all right so when i was looking at some of the videos on v part wigs a lot of people were doing the method where you just part your hair and you don't leave any hair out which you can do because the like parting space over here unlike a u-part wig this is really really thin so like in a u-part wig it was a little more thicker um where this parting was with this one it's literally just like net it's like lace basically i'm gonna get closer so you can see okay so as you can see like it is super super thin it's basically like lace up here which i love because i have very fine hair and when i had u-part wigs it was hard to like leave a tiny bit of hair out so it will cover this but now I don't have to so I'm going to take this off and I'm going to show you the inside so this is the inside construction of the wig you have combs two on the sides one in the middle and then you have these like combs on the side and the back so yeah, that is the construction of the wig. All right, so now that y'all saw the construction of the wig, we're about to see the construction of my hair right now. Um, let me go get my mirror real quick. All right, so I'm gonna take this off so you guys can see what my hair looks like um, underneath. So <laughs> um, I just have this hair left out right here. Ignore this, this is like my braid. But this is what I have out left out. And so all I did was leave a tiny bit out and I'm just going to, uh, actually I'm going to flat iron it first. Um, I really did not want to put heat on my hair, but I have to with this. So I'm going to flat iron this part first and then show you guys how I put it. All right, so now that we got the flat, I look like alfalfa, oh my gosh. Okay, so now that we got that part out the way, we are going to put the wig on. So I have a flat iron. Oh, look, it's growing. Okay. So <laughs> I'm just going to, I think I have these on the tightest. Yeah. And I really hope this fits my head because I thought I had a big head, but I don't apparently because a lot of these wigs have not been fitting my head correctly, but I feel like this one's going to fit. All right. So I think I'm going to zoom in so you guys can see a little bit closer on how I put it in. Okay. So I have my part. Let me get that out the way. So I'm just going to come over here, clip that in. So I clip that in there. All right. Yo, 
know I'm looking at my viewfinder um, to put this in right now and then where is my hair over here there you are all right just gonna clip this side in and this top part all right so I have it all clipped in I'm gonna adjust it the combs in the back All right, so I have it clipped in. Now we're going to go back so I can style it real quick. All right, so I have it in and y'all, this is nice, okay? I have not done anything to it. All I did was straighten that little bit of my hair and this is what we're looking like, okay? So I'm super excited. And also, I did do a side part. Um, I like middle parts, but I'm more of a fan of I'm, a, I'm more of a fan of side parts. I'm about to get tongue twisted, but I'm more of a fan of a side part. So I love a good side part. And when I used to wear sewings back in the day, this is how I used to wear my hair, like on the side like this. So um, what are we going to do to this? So like I said, this is body wave hair. Um, let me scoot up so you can see. This is body wave. Um, and I just took my comb and kind of just like, I wanted to see how it would blend in with my hair and I think it's blending in very nicely and I think it also helps that my hair currently is kind of oily <laughs> it's kind of oily like I can go fix this side over here it's kind of oily right now um, I need to wash it but y'all I have not done anything to this hair the curls this is the body wave texture of it looks like this and y'all, I'm quick to put some um, some wand curls in my hair. So I already have the thing up, okay? But I think I'm just going to kind of like wand curl this front part to give it a little bit more volume and to blend this. Like you guys can see, I need to straighten this part better or blend it in. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. I'm going to style this real quick and then I'll be right back with my thoughts on it. And you guys can see how it looks. absolutely love this it is so cute I did not have to put that much effort into doing this and one of the good parts is if you don't know how to braid it's perfect because you really do not have to braid your hair um, I did not cornrow like an anchor braid or anything I just did a plait um, and stuck the comb in and snapped it and voila we have this look how beautiful this is like Look at the body. Um, I did just run my curling wand through it real quick just to give it a little bit more mm, and curls. But y'all, I think this blends so nice with my hair. Um, I'm gonna get close again so you guys can see like how much hair I really left out and how nice it blends. Okay, so uh, this is what it's looking like up close okay this is amazing so I would say over here um, my braids are thicker and that's why it's kind of sitting up but if you had flat braids or just pulled your hair back um, it will be much flatter but I don't mind it because I like body anyway but y'all look at this like can you tell me this is not a sew-in like this looks like a straight sew-in oh my gosh look at that a straight sewing but it only took like five minutes to put on and i am absolutely loving it the parting my hair is right here so this is my hair and yes it's super stringy like i said because i need to wash it it's so oily right now but that is it y'all this is so nice all right, y'all, I'm just so impressed with, like, how well this blends and everything. I love it. Um, I wanted to show you guys what came in the box because, like I said, this is my first time using their hair. So, um, of course, the hair came in this, like, big bag. 
was super long with a net on it um it came with this cute goodie bag and y'all i love when brands like put this like tech bag in it so i put my hair in it and not like keep the box and it's just too much you know so i got some lashes these are some long lashes i got lashes y'all know i don't even wear lashes so i just get so many lashes i don't wear lashes but it's very nice because sometimes i might wear it like if it's like a special occasion um and then i also got some more hair clips which i definitely need these and they're pink and they're so cute so i got these hair clips and i got a scarf so here's a satin scarf i can lay my hair down with it so yeah so like i said this hair is from a kalaya 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 hair sorry if i'm pronouncing it wrong um and like i said it's 24 inches it's a v-part body wig i would love people are so loud outside i would love to see this like on me with like shorter hair i don't know why i just wanted long hair maybe because i never wear super long hair and i thought it would just be like super cute which i think it is but um yeah it comes down to here on me and i'm five three so it comes like a little past my bust area but um yeah 24 inches body wave wig um i'm gonna leave all the specs below and also you can get 25 percent off if you use the code my 25 right here so you can get 25 percent off of your hair which is great you guys i'm just gonna do a little turnaround so you can see like look at this look at the body of this so beautiful so yeah i just wanted to turn around so you can see it see how much body there is it's so beautiful um if you look on this side this is gorgeous look at that this is so like effortless y'all i'm obsessed with this wig because the reason why i don't really wear straight wigs or straight hair is just because of the maintenance i just feel like it's so much maintenance um you know to get it a certain way and then you sweat your hair out and all that but i don't have to leave much hair out at all at all like this is amazing so please tell me what you guys think about this hair i'm going to be doing a lot more v part wigs i think v part wigs are now like my favorite because like the whole lace wig like i feel like it's getting tired now um and people just want like a really natural look sometimes with like a little bit of hair left out and i think it's super nice that we have the v part wigs now um, so yeah, so let me know if you guys think and I will see you next time. Bye you guys.